Hello, and welcome back to The Gaming Dave. As it was a bit of a quiet week in, in gaming, I kind of wanted to discuss the Golden Joystick Awards that happened last Friday. This was the 32nd of the publicly voted gaming awards, and a lot came out of it, both from the awards and outside of the actual awards giving. They had to have some filler content, so they thought they'd put in some pretty decent trailers. We got trailers for Bloodborne, Witcher 3, Drive Club, Project Cars, and World of Warship, if, if that's kind of your thing. So yeah, there were definitely some really decent trailers, some really promising titles there. The award ceremony was hosted by the comedian Ed Byrne, who was, you know, he was pretty good. He's a decent comedian. Um, it wasn't too awkward about it. Some people in the Twitch chat, because it was streamed on Twitch, um, were saying, oh, he's absolutely useless, he's not funny, and all that, and just ignore him, because, you know, he was, he was decent, I quite like Ubisoft Blizzard and Bohemia Interactive all did pretty well at the Golden Joystick Awards, with Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Hearthstone, and DayZ all receiving two awards, as well as Ubisoft Montreal receiving Studio of the Year Award. Dark Souls 2 won the illustrious Game of the Year, and Hideo Kojima of Metal Gear Solid fame won the Lifetime Achievement Award, so well done to him. Also congratulations to YouTuber PewDiePie, he probably won't see this, but he won the Gaming Personality Award, beating Aisha Tyler and several other prominent figures in the gaming industry. Several of the awards that were given out I didn't really personally agree with. Um, those that know me personally will know that I Facebook posted the whole thing, you know, how people live tweet movies and things like that. Because I don't have Twitter, I just posted all about it on Facebook with the hashtag Golden Joysticks and just kind of voiced my opinions for each and every single award, which people were so grateful for. I got I got like a message or two being like, Yep, yeah, sort the spam. Thanks for that. I'm just like, you, you're welcome. You're welcome for that. So, yeah, it was mainly with those early access games. You know, I mentioned DayZ is, as far as Steam says, it is still an early access game. And the most played award went to Rust, which is kind of a very similar game to DayZ. And the reason I don't agree with this is because it's an early access game. It's technically a game that isn't really out yet. It's in its alpha testing and its beta testing, and yes, it's public, so in a way you could say, oh, it's still technically a game that is out. At the same time, I just, I feel that these games should maybe put into their own category, but that is just my own opinion. So yeah, sorry for the short video, I just kind of wanted to talk about the Golden Joysticks because I enjoyed watching them, and I wanted to make a video about it even if it was only going to be a few minutes long. Oh, what do you think of the Golden Joystick Awards? Did you watch them? Did you agree with the choices that the people made? Let me know in those comments down below. I'm the Gaming Dave, and I'll see you next time.